Hi, this is Betty Widerski from Boston. I'm going to show you today how to use automation in GarageBand in order to adjust the sound level of various tracks so that they come out better and not obscured by the level of other tracks. Now here's for instance is a song I recently recorded with my band for the RPM Challenge last month. Everything was done with an acoustic microphone. I don't know why I walked in through that doorway. It was so easy, so very easy. Uh huh. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. My Lord, it was so easy to knock me down into my knees. Now, you can hear from that that at about bar 11 to 12 and bar 15, the singer voice level went down a bit and overall the voice level isn't popping out on top of the other instruments. So what you do in GarageBand is if you click this button you can turn on track volume which then gives you this line which allows you to adjust the volume at various points on the track. So for instance this uh, Cajon track is at just below 0 dB right now. I'm going to leave it there for the beginning of the intro but then when the voice comes in I'm going to bring it down slightly so that it doesn't cover up the voice so there that's going to get down to about minus 5.3 dB now I've done this already with the other tracks so that uh, it saves some time here so this is a, a clap and tambourine track and I've done the same thing here. I have adjusted it down when the voice comes in. And with the fiddle track as well, you can see that I have brought it down just slightly because when I was playing the fiddle, I was already making it softer when the voice came in. Now, the vocal track needs a lot more adjustment because the vocals was very loud at some places and very soft in others. So... At the beginning, I brought the voice down slightly from 0 dB, but then here, where she was sort of losing her words and getting softer, I brought it up more, then back down a bit where she was loud, and then up again towards the end of that phrase. So with all this automation in place, the track now sounds like this. I don't know why I walked in through that doorway. It was so easy, so very easy. Uh huh. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. My Lord, it was so easy to knock me down to my knees. So you could hear now that when she was saying, knock me down until my knees at this point. You could hear better now what she was saying, and the thumping of the drum and the clapping track is down a little, so the voice is popping out more to the front of the mix. So that's a brief look at how automation can help you clean up some problems with your tracks after you've recorded it. I hope that was useful to you, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for listening. You pulled me down, I fell right through and landed in your arms. Oh.